What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, everybody. Oh my God, I had a wonderful holiday and it is going to continue with New Year's Eve. Come join me and my family on Tuesday night between 10th. I'm going to start at 10.30 and we're going to play some Jenga. We're going to have some laughs, have some sauce music, sauce. <laughs> soft music playing in the background guys um hope everybody had a wonderful wonderful um christmas and and so much more to come this year for all of us you know what i'm saying god make all this possible so guys welcome new subscribers i hope you guys are enjoying my channel okay i made a Sw mushroom swiss burger okay and it's a sunday night Come with me in my kitchen and see how I made my version of a mushroom Swiss burger. Let's go. Okay, guys, welcome to the kitchen. I had ground beef right here. Is this as focused? So, can you guys see that? Is it too much light? Can you tell? I'm working with ground beef, though. Okay. So, I got some ground beef right here that I'm working with. What's on the menu? I showed you the picture. We are having Swiss. Well, I'm not having. The boys are having mush, Swiss mushroom burgers or Swiss burger mushrooms. Man, how how you make it? That's what we got here. I am making some Swiss mushroom burgers, guys. I had some ground beef right here. I had my seasoning right here. So I won't have to have all those different seasoning out. So I just have a combination of my house seasoning that I um that I'm making here. This is not the garlic and onion season. This is the um, season all purpose house seasoning. Well, a whole bunch of stuff mixed up in here. Just give your food some flavor. I just mix it in the bowl, stir it up, and bam, I can use it on anything. So, I'm about to use it on my um, ground beef. And yes, you already washed your hands. And my hamburger is still a little bit frozen. Because you know what I did is that I took my hamburger out last night. And I thaw it in the refrigerator. So it's been in the refrigerator all day. And I took it out like an hour before I want to cook it. You can still hear a little crunch in it. But that's okay. And I'm just using my all-purpose seasoning. I could just like... Again, season your hamburger what you like seasoned with, what you use best in your home. I am making this Swiss burger. Hope you guys can see it. Hope everybody come over. Ooh, her hands ashy. Dang. <laughs> but guess okay. Oh, her hands ashy. Y'all. Let her wash her hands. <laughs> I just got the shower. I didn't think they're going to be that ashy. Let me wash my hands. Put some lotion or something on it. And we're going to come back and make these burgers. Oh, look at that ash. I can't have that on TV. I'll be back. Okay. I'm back. So my burger seeds. Somebody said, oh, you didn't put an egg in it. You don't always need to put an egg in your burger. So... I'm making some nice size burgers here. Roll it up. It's well seasoned. It's not going to come apart. And I'm making a flatty, flat patties. Turn my stove on. Not forget, I'm going to take y'all over to the stove, putting the stove like on a number four. Remember, one thing I don't like about burgers, burgers tend to shrink. Did I say that right? Shrink, shrink. I don't like a thick burger. I think this is perfectly round for me. It's the way I want it. It's that I'm about to sit it right to the side. I just turn, actually, let me just sit it. I have a plate right here. And I'm going to sit them on my top. I have this top right here. On my cutting board, I'm just gonna sit it there, and I want to get a nice amount. 
Everybody's not in. Everybody don't want one. I'm not eating one. So I'm thinking I can get about five good ones, guys. Nice and round. Enough meat. So when they shrink, they still be, you know, bun size to get that. That's a nice size, right? Somebody always have to do it. People always come to your house when they know. Well, that could be my son coming home for work, though. Either Brandon or um, Joshua. Either Joshua. <laughs> Joshua. Either or. Oh, that's Brandon. Come on. So, nice round burger. I'm on making a video. Get off me. Gotta let them know. They talking and everything. They're nice around. Who? Maybe I could get. I want some nice size. So that's gonna be a mini me down there. Always gotta get the perfect. The perfect burger. I'm telling you, these things love to shrink. Guys, don't forget to come over on Tuesday evening around 10 30 or 11 o'clock. I'm gonna say about 10 30 on Tuesday. Come on over on my live so that I can, um, we can celebrate New Year's. What you got? We're gonna play Jenga. I don't know who's gonna be in the house. It's a family thing. So I hope all the kids be there. So this is the last one. Again, I think some of them have plans. So my, my plan is to be safe in the house. Hope you guys like this Swiss burger. So maybe you can make it for New Year's. Well, this is gonna be a baby. Look how small that baby is. Let me wash my hands. Sunday. I just ain't feel like cooking. I know I didn't cook Thanksgiving, but we did cook for Christmas, and I just ain't feel like doing anything big today. I got this on autofocus. For some reason, things still tend to be a little bit blurry to me. Do I look blurry to you guys? They probably said, girl. I apologize, cause she know not what she doing. Then I don't have glasses on, so it might appear blurry to me. I don't know. Oh, I want another burger. I've got three in this pan. get three burgers in this pan and let them cook and let them cook Jackson's bring my glasses cause this thing looking bleary looking I don't know because I'm blind as a bat y'all and I can't see nothing oh I'm just got some blurry stuff going on I just don't know Jack Jack But it's gonna be some amazing Swiss burgers Tell you when you can do things in your own home and you ain't gotta go outside your home and do it Guys, it's amazing. You're gonna need the ground beef. You're gonna need some heavy cream some onions some mushrooms some flour and a good roll Got a potato roll Cause I like good rolls. <laughs> so let me see. I'm putting the glasses on. Cause it look bleary. But it could be just that. 
I'm seeing through blurry eyes. No. I think I got to get my son to wipe off my, um, my screen, my thing. It do look blurry. Oh, I'll be showing y'all no blurry photos, blurry food and stuff. You know? There you go. Hey! I can't do that auto. I got to do it myself. I knew I got this. Look at the burgers cook. Yeah. I'm going to let y'all watch this a few music. A few music. <laughs> You may get some out of, you know, some people love to hit things that sizzle like an ASMR type stuff, you know. I don't know. So this is what we making today, Sunday, in my kitchen on a Sunday because sometimes you just got to slow it down. And I think you can make this with um a turkey burger too. I think you can. A turkey Swiss um mushroom burger that's what we're gonna call it but this is not turkey this is ground beef and we're gonna let these babies cook and it smells so good in here because of the seasoning remember your kitchen your way so whatever season you like in your ground beef that's what you do whatever season you like in your ground beef that's what you do i put a combination of my favorite seasons together and used to know my beef and it, and it just and it tastes great, and it smells good in here. And no, you don't always need an egg to do a burger. We gonna get this um self recording down pat, guys. We really are. So guys, these are my burgers. Now, now I went to the store. In order for me to call this a Swiss mushroom burger, you gotta have Swiss cheese. They didn't have any sliced Swiss cheese. So I went with some shredded. That's it right. So shredded Swiss cheese. And I'm just gonna throw a powder Swiss cheese up on here. Just like this, all in my pan. Just to get because my kids love cheese. Just to get them flowing. You know what I'm saying? Just to get them cooking. Now these hamburgers right here are not done yet. So I'm going to let them cook. Push these off to the side. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Those two are still cooking. But these three are completely done. But again, if you got Swiss cheese, you can go ahead and put yours on there. I didn't have slices, but I want to make this a Swiss burger, so I'm using shredded cheese. And I'm going to let that melt all up, pull them to the side. When these two get done, put some cheese on them. Mm. And I'm just going to stick a top real quick. It's not any top that go to it. Just watch it melt. That's where that's sweat. <laughs> that cheese melt. Man, you can always improvise. If you can't get it in slice, do what I did. I got it in shredded. Mmm. And oh my goodness. And it smell good. There's not the top that go to this. May not have a top that go to this. But I'ma have it melting. I'm gonna melt it up. Like it is no tomorrow, people. Mm. Got me a pan ready to stick it in. Look at that milk. Oh, that's Swiss cheese smell. Good. Yes, that smell amazing. We getting it together, people. Mushroom Swiss burger. We're going to be back with the end results of the hamburger. 
of the Swiss burgers, of the melted Swiss burgers. <laughs> I got to tell you how to make the mushroom and the onions and the heavy cream. And, oh, goodness, yes. Oh, look at that. I'm sorry. I think this one right here, that need a little bit more cheese. Don't worry, I got two bags of this. My kids, they're going to be like, a, no, I would put two slices of cheese on here. Mmm. Back on there. Let that cook. So, them the burgers, guys. So this is what they look like, the finish of the cooked burgers. Yeah, you can't see them all, but that's what they look like. There they go. So now I'm going to wash my pan, start the sauce, and I'm going to bring you right back. Okay, guys, we're back. I got some mushrooms right here. I'm going to sit to the side. I got an onion that I'm just going to peel. I got my grease. Not my grease. I had my butter on. Guys. And you use as big an onion as smaller onions. And I got my heavy whipped cream right here. As you want. I'm just going to chop up some onions. And you can chop them up how you want them. And I'm going to throw them in. My butter. I want to use this whole onion because it's a small onion. So, since I'm not partake, partaking in this. And I said, let me see what the heck you just said. I'm not eating it. <laughs> Um, the children, the, these grown men in my house, they love this, all this type of food. That's one thing I like about YouTube. It allowed me to, um, cook different variety of, um, foods and stuff, you know, for everyone. And they could choose the different foods that they might, you know, they like and everything. We're just going to cook these onions down. Yes, I'm still only using one. I'm going to show you guys those onions because we're going to cook them until they're nice and soft. I got them in my butter. And normally, you could have used the same saucepan. Okay. Look at that. Let this just cook down. I have about two tablespoons of butter in here, guys. I'm going to turn it down. I don't want them to get black. So I'm turning it down. I want to get almost like a caramelization. I'm going to let you guys watch. Yeah. Onions can make your house smell so, so, so good. Guys, this is an easy burger to cook. A quick burger to cook. Your family will love it. They will love it. They will love it. They will love it. No more buying that burger. So when that burger come out at Wendy's or who else do the mushroom Swiss burger? I don't know who else do it. Wendy's, Hardee's, Carl Jr., whoever you have, Sonic. Make your own. Go back to this video, reference to it. Or any other video you find, you know. Your favorite cook on YouTube may be doing this too. If I'm not your favorite cook. <laughs> I just want them to cook down. Watch them onions cook. Oh, so what I'm saying is that um, the Swiss cheese, since I didn't have sliced cheese and I used the shredded Swiss, it kind of messed the pan up too bad. You know, I couldn't use the same pan 
to caramelize the onions to do the mushrooms and make the sauce because I wanted to come out really well so I decided just to pull out another pan typically if you use um, the sliced Swiss you make it just after the hamburger and cheese melt to throw your onions in there get them caramelized turn them down and then add your mushrooms I didn't do all that because using that shredded cheese just messed my pan up too bad and I don't want that sauce to be all dark. You know, not right. So I decided to just go out a, good, a clean pan, add in two tablespoons of butter, turn my stove down, and let these onions just cook and do their thing. Hey guys, look at these um, onions. They looking good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my mushrooms in there. And I'm gonna just let all this cook down together. Let the mushroom get soft. You know, the mushrooms hold water. So. I'm going to let them cook, get soft, do what they do. Yes, this is a half a thing of mushrooms I use. I had that big old um, pack. They come pre-cut up. That's what I'm using. I'm just going to let everything cook together. That's what I'm going to do. You see that? Let the steam and the heat just cook all of that. Let's cook it up <clears throat> before we add in the flour. Y'all hear people in my house? People living life, guys. You know, somebody said. They unsubscribe because they heard people talking and coughing in the background. But guess what? I have a large family. People are in, people in the living room. I'm in the kitchen. I meant, I don't try to stop people from doing what they're doing when I'm making a video. Especially when it's active. And I and they, they all around and they waiting on this food. And they in the living room talking, having a conversation. I do tell them like, you know. I go, I'm recording a little bit, but I don't stop them from talking. I most definitely can't stop nobody from coughing. And they're not in the kitchen. They're like way down y'all in the living room. So, you know, I'm sorry to lose that person, but hey, another person will come along, I guess, you know. No, you know, people cough. What can I say? I'm just going to continue to do what I do here on this channel. I'm going to let these mushrooms cook down. I'm going to run it along with the rest of these onions. And I thank you know, I thank everybody for the support. I thank everybody for watching. Because you don't have to watch. You don't have to tell people. You don't have to try my recipes. You don't have to buy my flour. But you guys always step up. And you know, if I don't tell you, again, in 2020, if you don't hear it out of my mouth, I'm going to repeat again. In 2019, I love my soul squad. Thank you guys for always being here for me and my family. Thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for, you know, thumbs up these videos, guys. Thank you for watching. Hit that bell to be notified. So when I do decide to post a video, and I'm trying to get them up more often, because I'm doing my own thing, you guys will know what I'm doing. Can you hear me? Because I'm looking at these mushrooms. I just want them to cook down. And I'll be back once they cook down. This is not a it's it's an easy recipe. It's a quick recipe. I got my stove down low. I'm just gonna turn it up just a little bit because I have it on two. Turn it up on three. When we come back, we're gonna add in the flour. Yep and the heavy cream and make the sauce and put this burgers together because i got my burgers in the oven 
Yep, they're in the oven or warm. Staying nice and warm. And you guys can do the same thing. Or you can make your sauce first. And then when your burgers get done, you can warm up the sauce. Then put a couple, you know, either way, I just did the burgers first. I don't know. Could have did the sauce first, but I did the burgers first. <clears throat> okay, guys. Everything's looking the way I wanted to look. You know what I'm saying? So, what I'm about to do at this point, I did add it in. Two more tablespoons of butter. So I used two tablespoons of butter at the beginning with the onions. Then I went in with another two tablespoons after I put in the mushrooms. Everything looking the way you want it to look. So at this point, grab you some flour. And guys, I'm grabbing, since I used four tablespoons of um, butter, I'm doing equal parts. Now this flour I'm using is my flour, of course. I use I try to use it on everything. But if you don't have my flour, guys, go ahead and use just some regular all purpose flour. That's all you gotta use. So I'm just gonna do this for a couple of seconds to get that flour taste off of here. Because you're making like an onion mushroom gravy. But instead of using water or broth. And I just want to cook some of that flour off. You're using um, a couple of tablespoons of Cool Whip. Ooh, I said Cool Whip. <laughs> you don't want to use a couple of tablespoons of Cool Whip. <laughs> a couple of tablespoons of heavy cream. That's all. And I just want that, um, make sure that all that flour is cooked down, cooked off. You know, guys, just stir that around in your pan a couple of minutes. I'm telling you, Swiss mushroom onion burgers. I don't know how I'm gonna title it, but it's gonna get titled. You hear me? I'm gonna get my heavy cream. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of heavy cream. It's, it's like we're making a gravy. Not that much. We're gonna watch it get thick because of the flour. And remember, this flour is seasoned. So remember just to add a little um seasoning to your mushrooms and to this, to this, because you want everything to have so so much flavor. I don't want to make oh almost drop the heavy whip. And let that do what it's going to do. And this is going to make my soul. It's going to go on top of the burgers. That mushroom sauce. That's all this is. And it's going to thicken up because of the flour. Look at that. Let it turn brown. This is going to be a nice sauce. I'm just going to let it sit here and simmer you know the more stuff I pull in the more sauce it's going to make because I got like five burgers so that's it that's all I'm going to do and I'm going to let this simmer and you guys can watch it simmer watch it come together because while you watching it come together let me get my um What's that they call? Let me get the burgers. And let me get the, um, look at this. It's getting thick. And it's going to be a mushroom sauce. This all purpose flour, some heavy cream. On top of this Swiss burger. Look at that. This is gonna look. And if you have some of that browning, which I think I have some, you can pour a little bit of that in there because you're not supposed to get that brown look. But I think I'm gonna let it just do it naturally. Let it simmer. Because I had browning. I just don't know where's that. I gotta look in the cabinets for it. 
since I didn't plan on using it. You know? So, she don't know where is it at. I know I have some. I've seen it. And you know what the thing about it? It never been open because I never found the use to use it. So I'm not going to start today. I'm going to let this mushroom sauce cook. Let it come together on its own. Mmm. Mmm. It tastes good. I think that's because of my flour. It has flavor. Remember the season. Your salt with some salt and pepper. Season the mushrooms and your sauce to your liking so you get good flavor with this sauce. I got it on a low. I'm going to let this simmer. It's thick how I want it. I don't want it any looser. See how that is? With the onions and stuff, it's just how I want it to be on that burger. And we're going to be back. I'm going to just let this cook a while to get back the way I want it. But that flavor tastes wonderful. Okay, guys, the end result is here. I toasted my bun in the toaster. I got my burger right there. And look at my sauce. I got the sauce, guys. So we going in with this Swiss onion sauce on this burger. And that's how it goes, folks. Oh, my God. The kids have tasted the sauce. They say, oh, my, that tastes so good. So, just top it and dig on my Swiss. Mm, that thing is good. My Swiss burger, guys. I got to show you guys a better view. We're going to get a better view of these burgers. Don't worry about it because you're getting from the top. We're going to get an amazing thumbnail. Of this Swiss burger. You can do it just like that. Mushroom fell off. Mm. Like, share, subscribe. Until next time, I am out. This is my Swiss onion burger, guys. It came out amazing. <laughs> Andrew, in the background, clap. <laughs> How the sauce tastes, Andrew? Good. Yeah, this sauce is amazing. Way good. So what I did do to let you guys know, I did add in a little bit of chicken broth at the end, um, and I'm gonna put that in the, the description below. It gave it, it gave it, <laughs> it gave it a little more extra flair, extra flavor, you know. So yeah, they're about to eat in here on a Sunday. That's how we do it. Like, share, subscribe. I'm out. <laughs>